In this tutorial, we'll be looking at recording cues and cue lists and discussing the various recording options. Thank you for your interest in the Infinity Chimp Light controller and welcome to this tutorial. To learn more about the various parts of the Infinity Chimp Light controller, keyboard and screen, you are advised to watch tutorial 1 and 2, hardware and software. This tutorial is based on software version 1.3. If your chimp uses a different software version, the functions or user interface may be different. Please note that we refer to the chimp hardware keys as keys and the GUI software keys as buttons in this tutorial. The location of the cues. The cues or cue lists can be found under the cue list button in every split widget. In our example, we have already stored various cue lists and cues. Cues can be placed in three different places where they then can be activated. Playback faders, executors, and virtual executors. We will first play a cue on the playback fader. We select the group of IS100 fixtures. We give it a full output by pressing the AT key and FULL keys. We now press the RECORD key and select Fader Label 10. We give this cue the name DIMMER and press ENTER to create the cue. We activate the cue by sliding Fader 10 upwards. A second option is to place a cue under an executor. In our example, we rotate encoder 2, the shutter, until it produces a strobe effect. We press on the record key and select the E1 key. This is executor 1. We name it strobe. When we press the E1 key, we activate the cue list with the strobe function that we have just created. The third place where the cues and cue lists can be placed is in the virtual executor split widget. In our example, we select a color using a preset. We then select the Executor button in the split widget at the bottom left. These are virtual executors. We have four pages, each with 32 virtual executors. To save a virtual executor, we press the Record key and select a free virtual executor button by tapping on it. Creating a queue list. We will now create a queue list. First, we press the clear key to remove everything from the programmer. We select the group of IS100 and select a position preset. We then press on the record key and select a free playback fader. In our case, we tap on fader label 9. We see that the chimp has automatically created cue list 56. We give the cue list a name, position. For the second cue in our cue list, we change the position with the help of another position preset. We then press the record key, followed by the cue list key, and then number of cue list. In our case, 56, followed by Enter. A pop-up screen appears. This gives us the following options. Remove from queue. Replace queue. Merge into queue. 
append as new queue. We choose the option append as new queue, which means that we create a new queue and the initial queue becomes a queue list. We give this queue in our queue list the name write. To quickly include queues in the required queue list, we can select this queue list. We select queue list 56 by pressing the select key and tapping on fader label 9. The fader label displays a dark gray bar at the top of the indication. We change the positions of the IS-100 with the help of a position preset. We then press the record key, followed by the Q key, the number 3, and then enter. A pop-up menu appears in which we can give this queue a name. We'll call this queue Center. We now have recorded three queues. Record options. We now demonstrate various options when recording queues. We first explain how to insert a queue. We change the positions of the IS-100 with the help of a position preset. We press the record key and choose the insert option in the lower toolbar and then press enter. When the chimp inserts a queue, it is always placed in the front of the selected queue. In our example, we select Q1, which means that our new queue will be placed in front of Q1. We'll give this queue the name Audience. Secondly, we explain how to replace a queue. We change the position again with the help of a position preset and also change the color of the fixtures using a color preset. We press the record key and select the option Replace. A pop-up menu is displayed where we can select the queue we want to replace. In our case, we select Q0 Audience and press Enter. Thirdly, we discuss the Remove function. We will remove the color red from Q0. In order to remove the values of an attribute from a queue, we need to activate the relevant attribute in the programmer. We do this by setting a value, in our case with the help of Rotary 1. You can see that the edge of the color attribute turns red. This indicates that this attribute is active. We press the record key and select the remove function, followed by enter. A pop-up menu appears with all the queues of the selected queue list. Here, we choose the queue from which we want to remove the color, in our case, Q0. This is confirmed by pressing the Remove button. We then press the Clear key to empty the programmer. We can now see that the color red has been removed from the queue. Our fourth option is to add something to an existing queue. We select the 100 fixtures and choose Gobo 1 from a Gobo preset. We press the Record key and choose the Merge option followed by the Enter key. A pop-up menu appears, again with all the queues of the selected queue list. We choose Q0 and confirm this with the Merge option. The Gobo has now been added to the existing Q0. As this queue list has the property Tracking, all the active values of the attributes belonging to a queue are included in the subsequent queues. In our case, this is the color white and the Gobo from Q0. The chimp has tracking active for the queue lists as standard, but this can be turned off if required. The fifth option we'll look at is record all four selected. We select the IS100 fixtures and choose a gobo from a preset. We now deselect a number of fixtures. In order to save this change for the selected fixtures, we press the record key and select the option All for selected followed by the Enter key. 
please note that the all for selected function has two functions. All the attributes of the selected fixtures will be recorded if the attributes are not active in the programmer. The default value will be saved. 2. The fixtures that are not selected will not be recorded even if attributes are active in the programmer. The sixth option we explain is the function record everything. We press executor 1 to play a strobe effect. We now see that no fixtures have been selected. We press the record key and select everything and confirm this with the Enter key. We call this cue Everything. Record Everything ensures that all DMX values that the chimp generates at that particular moment are recorded in the queue. Regardless of whether the fixtures are selected or patched, values coming from the programmer are generated from a playback. We now see that the programmer is empty, and we select the Everything queue. The strobe effect of Executor 1 is recorded in this queue. Deleting queues. We open the queue list by pressing the open key followed by the fader label. We can now see an extended version of the queue list in the split widget on the right hand side of the screen. We'll delete a few queues from the queue list. We press the delete key followed by Q4 and enter. Q4 has been deleted. It is also possible to delete several queues in one go. We press the delete key followed by Q, and then 1.1, followed by through, and then 3. We confirm this with enter. The chimp asks us whether we are sure. We confirm this by tapping on delete. Delete options. The chimp offers several possibilities when using the delete key. We press delete and see various options appear in the lower toolbar. Delete object. Delete all. Delete cues. Remove content. We now choose remove content and then press fader label 9. A pop-up menu appears. We are able to select the required queue. We select Q5 and press the Remove button. The Remove Content function only deletes the information that is stored in the queue, but does not delete the queue. Delete Object. We press Delete once again, then select Delete Object, then tap on Fader Label 9 and confirm this with Delete. We can see that QList 56 is disconnected from Playback Fader 9. However, QList 56 has not been deleted. We select the QList pool in the split widget and see that QList 56 position is still present. Delete All. We press Delete, then select Delete All. Then tap on Fader Label 10 and confirm this with Delete. We can see that QList 52 has been completely removed. It is no longer visible on Fader Label 10 and has now been removed from the QList pool. We can also remove queues more quickly. We do this by keeping the Delete key pressed and tapping the queue lists on the touch screen. These queue lists are removed immediately and the chimp will no longer ask for additional confirmation. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Infinity strives to keep its chimp related tutorials and software information up to date. Keep an eye on our social media channels for the latest information on the chimp.